Hello y'all, so today I'm going to be covering how to do one frame glitches in Sony Vegas. Disable motion blur for this example today. What you want to already have is you already want to have some scenes put down in your timeline that you're going to work with. Like that's kind of the first step is like figuring out what you want to do. So I have these scenes just kind of chilling. Like, you guys get the point. Okay, so I'm gonna put some frame glitches here. So the very first step to doing glitches in Vegas is you want to realize how, like, Vegas kind of works. You can't really have adjustment layers unless you're using entire tracks for it. So the way I do frame glitches is, like, Control c or just right-click copy on the original footage layer after you have it all synced up. You paste it on top, and then you just press S on your keyboard to split, like each frame because each cut each of these is a frame and then so you have three frames right here so this part is where like frame glitches can kind of be like different and it doesn't look like what everyone else does you can kind of just add whatever effects you know about on it for the first frame i think i'm just going to do some scan lines since this frame is like more black and white like you want to create something that visually kind of flows, if that makes sense. And then for this frame, I'm going to put a tint on it, like a red tint. And then take a, like a brightness and contrast to balance that tint out. I'm going to put the brightness and contrast underneath the tint. So we can like... Kind of get the job done and then this one i'm just probably take jpeg damage yeah and now we have like simple glitch the thing about being able to do frame glitches is you have to know a lot of effects like you, you need a lot of effects knowledge to make it work you can also take the same frame glitch logic and apply it to like adding black flashes to your scene or to your like timeline like you hear how there's like snares right here on the song. But just take a solid color. You can just take this and like make it one frame. And then control C, control V that a few times. And so you see this blue thing? You can lower the opacity of each one. So like that. 